What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. As you've seen from the title and the thumbnail, I bought the cheapest tonneau cover I could find on the old interwebs. And this may be a shocker to some of you, but I actually found it on Amazon. And the price is why I bought this thing. So I picked this thing up for $99. It was on sale, they had a special run, and I think usually it's like 138 or something. I'll have it linked down below in the description if this thing is actually worth anything, if you guys would like to pick it up. That way, if you wanna buy it, easy to find it. So this here is the most plus tonneau cover. I'm guessing this says tonneau cover, and this says tonneau cover off-road 4x4 DIY. So I'm gonna be installing this thing on my 2022 Mega Cab. We got a trip coming up where we're gonna be driving this thing across country. Um, so I wanna keep everything in the back and I want it to be dry. So that's the reason why I got this tunnel covered. And I know some of you in the comments, you're gonna be thinking or you're gonna comment something and you're gonna be like, why did you spend so much money on this truck and you're buying a $100 tunnel cover for it? And the answer to that is I bought it because I've heard people say that a lot of these name brand tonneau covers and some of these cheap ones are built in the same factory and they just slap a different badge on it and then they sell it for less, but people still buy the name brand ones because they're name brand. Second is I'm trying this thing out so you guys don't have to. So if it's a piece of I'll waste my money on it and I'll let you guys know so you don't waste your money on it. So what I'm gonna do now is unbox this thing, get everything pulled out and get it installed on the truck. All right, so I have everything unboxed. Here's the actual roll-up tunnel cover itself, clamps, hardware, and then each side, like the clamps kind of clamp to, then go down the sides of the box rails. Um, this foam piece, I'm guessing, I kind of did a quick glance at the instructions here. I'm guessing this goes up by the cab, runs across this piece here. I'm curious to see how it sticks since I have the factory bed liner. So I'll let you know about that too. But what I'm gonna do is set them up, put that foam crap down, and kinda get it into place. All right, so I put these little clamp things in. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You take the bottom one, which I don't know why this ain't focusing, slide it on the top one, put the Allen on through the top here to hold it down. I don't have it tightened down at all, I mean, it's loose. I just didn't want it falling off and then scratching the box side of the truck up. And I grabbed some Loctite. I'm gonna Loctite this thing, because if it's, Legit, I mean, it's looking pretty solid. I'm probably never gonna take the thing off. So now what I'm gonna do is take this, they keep calling it the bulkhead. I'm gonna take this and uh, figure out how it goes up top, figure out my foam situation up there, and then roll it back to see where it sits. And if everything lines up and looks good with the tailgate up, then I'll go through Loctite all these bolts or whatever, and then tighten them all down. All right, I got this bulkhead thing in here. You're probably not gonna be able to see on camera. There's, it's literally just like a channel you slide the little channel thing into this channel that's right here. And that's kind of just how it marries the two together. Um, I put my foam down. All I did was ran the foam and cut it right here where like the bed liner line stops. I don't know how good you can see that. There is a rubber like gasket underneath it. So I don't think, like, like I'm not trying to keep this thing like airtight. Like there's gonna get water in here more than likely. So that should be more than enough. I, uh, I did that on both sides, got it in. Still, clamps aren't super tight. I just want to roll it out and make sure it locks and fits and my tailgate can shut. I do like how this comes with foam on it, so when you're kind of shimmying this thing around, it's not scratching your back window all up. So, yeah, what I'm gonna do now is roll this thing out, make sure it fits, I guess, and then I'll come back, Loctite all these, and I'm done. As you see, I don't have any of this Velcro flop down, but this is what she looks like. Right, she fits. I still gotta go through and tighten all them clamps up. Like I said, I'm gonna put some Loctite on it. But, dude, a hundred bucks. I feel like you can't complain. Like, I feel like this, well, I mean, once I tighten it all down. 
I do like the ones like my last one I had, where it's just like a lever that does everything on one side instead of these strap ones. We'll, because on that one, I don't know if maybe this one will stretch out because there's these rods here. As you can see, you pull that in. I notice when I have to shut this thing, I pull that little strap there, it pulls the pins in and then it will lock down. Which is kind of, I mean, it's not ideal, but for a hundred bucks, bro, I don't think you can go wrong because there's people selling this exact same thing for like a thousand dollars and people are buying it. But yeah, I'm gonna go through, back all them out, throw some Loctite on it, get it all tightened up, and then I'll run the Velcro down. I think it will stretch out a little bit too and it'll close, open and close a little bit easier. I did have to adjust these. There are two screws in there. I don't know how much you can see, but I just slid it back a little bit because it was like not wanting to unlatch itself. So I slid each side forward slightly, and I mean, you just seen it. I pulled the cable and it pops up. Well, that's it. She's on. Um, I don't know if I show this or not, but it's actual buckles up here. I have had uh, tunnel covers in the past where it's just like a clip that just goes through the uh, little rope thing or whatever you want to call it. But anyways, it is a clip, so you can like unbuckle it. Um, yeah, this is it. The uh, most plus freaking tunnel cover. Let's go. I would say for a hundred bucks, this thing's pretty solid. I don't think it go wrong. Would I pay $200 for this thing? Probably not. I'd probably find whatever the next cheapest one was if the price on this happened to go up. Um, yeah, hundred bucks. This thing is solid. I feel like it's, it's, it's worth the money. You, like I said, they're usually on sale for like 138, 140. It looks like it's gonna do everything I need it to do. Um, so you can't go wrong there. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that thumbs up. It helps out the channel like a lot and it costs you literally nothing. If you guys got any questions, drop them down below in the comment section. Um, and if you guys want to stay up to date on the old Mega Cab, the X3 Jeeps, the Rubicon's not here right now, but uh, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, turn on notifications. Till next time guys, I'm out.